offensive coordinator, Mike Denbrock, University of Cincinnati, and coach. Let's first talk about welcoming you to Cincinnati and uh, get your thoughts on what you've seen so far here at the uh, the home of the Bearcats. Well, it's been an exciting time, obviously. Uh, we came in uh, a little bit behind, uh, but uh, through some great work by the staff and in uh, the state of Ohio in particular, being a great football community, uh, gave us a chance to kind of make some ground up, and uh, I think we had a great day, uh, and it's a, it's a proud day to be part of Bearcat Nation. I have to ask you because uh, you got a young man that's going to transfer in, Torrance Skips, and you have to be excited to be able to get that kid on the field. Well, we can't wait uh, to get our hands on him. Obviously, he's he's got a few things he's got to tackle first uh, before we can do that, but uh, – very excited about what he can bring to the program and uh, just a quality human being to begin with and, and somebody that I think is going to fit in very well with what we're, going to get, what we're going to be doing here offensively. Let's talk about what you plan on doing offensively because you have your own style of what you want to get done on the field and maybe give fans a little hint before spring ball gets underway of uh, your philosophy of what you want to bring to Cincinnati. Well, we want to play with a very aggressive mentality. I mean, we want to play uh, up on our toes, kind of in-your-face offensive football, and uh, that's going to involve uh, a power running game as, as well as uh, working and doing what we can to create explosive plays down the field. So um, from what I've seen with the guys on the team so far, I, I believe that's a style that fits us very well, and uh, we're going to attack people and go after them. You know, when, when it was a, kind of got out there that you were coming to Cincinnati, a lot of people were like, why would you leave Notre Dame? But you had a chance, a couple guys that you worked with up there that had some experience here with the Jeff Quinns and especially the Brian Kellys. What did they tell you about Cincinnati? Well, just that it's a great football community and uh, that there's a, a great legacy, a great football here at UC. And, and uh, it was something, uh, you know, match that with the chance to work with uh, a man like Coach Fickle and uh, – Great family man, great leader of men, and uh, somebody that's going to take, I think, this program to uh, some new heights. And I wanted to be part of it. It was exciting. And, and a new you know, change of scenery is good every once in a while, and it gave me an opportunity to kind of uh, get with good quality people and be part of a great program. And uh, anytime you get those opportunities, you got to jump at them. Let's talk a little bit non-football. Let's talk about you as a person off the field what you like to do, talk about your family. And I know right now it's always hard when coaches make changes because family gets kind of left behind and they're taking care of the, uh, the, the homestead until they get moved in. But uh, talk about your family and talk about yourself a little bit. Well, I have uh, my wife, Diane, who's, uh, you know, just a trooper. She has uh, been with me through uh, thick and thin and all the moves, obviously. A coach's wife is so vital to uh, being successful in this business, quite frankly, because they kind of have to shoulder the load of what goes on at home. And uh, she does a great job of that. And uh, I have a five-year-old son. His name is Chance. And uh, my wife and I are very fortunate to have him as part of our family. And uh, we just love him to death. Uh, he's uh, going to grow up. He calls it daddy ball. He wants to be a daddy ball player. So uh, we're excited to get them down here as fast as we can. Obviously, they're, uh, we're away from each other right now, which makes it very difficult. But uh, We've got a lot of work ahead of us here and it uh, gives me a chance to kind of dig in here and spend some extra time here doing what we know needs to be done. You come into a situation where you have some offensive players, especially at the quarterback position, a couple of guys who've got a lot of field time, as we could say, the Ross Trails and Hayden Moores. What have you told those guys so far about what they need to do to impress you and earn a job? Well, compete. And uh, it's going to be, a, you know, an open competition to see uh, who rises to the top and uh, – we're going to give those guys both an opportunity in spring football and, and, and see who really is ready to lead this football team. And uh, leadership at that position is so key. And uh, a big piece of our success offensively is going to come through the quarterback position. So those guys got to be ready to go. And uh, it's great to have some experience, obviously, at that position. And both of those guys have, have been in the fire a little bit. And uh, we're going to try to create some situations in the spring and put them in some compromising positions, see how they respond to it, and see if they're ready to lead this football team where we're going. Talk about recruiting efforts. What you know, when You're at Notre Dame. You kind of made a name for yourself going out on the West Coast and getting some guys out there and so forth. Talk about how your role may change here uh, with the, you know, the areas that will be recruited. Yeah, I think obviously it'll be a little more local. You know, we, We've got to do a great job here in the city of Cincinnati. There's such quality football around this area. If you you know, drew a circle around uh, UC and, uh, you know, a 300-mile radius. Even if you had to expand it that far, you're going to hit a lot of really good football players. So 
Obviously, it's a little more local, but uh, recruiting to me is all about relationship building and getting to know those guys on a, on a personal level, uh, getting to know their families, their counselors, the people that really touch their lives every day, uh, and building those relationships and putting yourself in a position where those guys can trust what you tell them is the truth. And uh, when you do that, uh, and you've got a great product to show them and a great university that they can attend and achieve high academically in, uh, you've got a good product to sell, and we've certainly got that here.